and they are spiritual beings. It's an angel! They're angels. God has ordered angels to bring people to Jesus. I love you, Father! Ambassadors of God. There are scientists that believe we were planted here by aliens. There are those that are totally devoted to evolution, who believe nothing spirit exists. But we look to the scriptures as the only authoritative source, authoritative source on angels, and it clearly says that God created them. So ultimately, if you look to truth, that we didn't just spring up from some primeval soup, <laughs> and you look to where you can find truth, we've got to turn to the Bible. Don't we have to turn to the Bible to know where truth is? The Bible is the absolute source to all of this. And after all, God calls himself creator. In the Bible, often the angels revealed the secrets of God. They revealed to us what is the mission of our life. And angels are servants, and they're made, as Paul said earlier, of spirit essence. And they are great, angelic, spirit-made uh, creations of Almighty God. And he was, he was very pleased himself when that took place. The sky just lit up with angels. They had flaming swords, and they were just like humongous. Like they were like some brute strength guys. They were big. So oftentimes we think of the supernatural. We have these weird images that come to mind. But here we're talking about a messenger, a messenger that, that serves God in his creation. They are such great, magnificent beings. And they serve God, but they serve human beings. When they serve human beings, they are serving God. If we align our lives with God's will and what he wants us to do, then we know we have the protection of the angels and God will look after us and look out for us. God is faithful. He will not let us be destroyed. Только за последние 350 лет. Конечно, Ой, ничего себе! Что это? Вау! Suddenly, people start screaming and the camera pans into the sky. A man can be seen flying around the top of the tower. He pauses for a minute before flying off at great speed. The woman can then be heard yelling, he's coming back now, just as the man flies past the monument once again. He's coming back now. Did you, did you, did you? When this clip surfaced, many believed that the flying man had to be an angel. The man doesn't seem to have a pair of wings, however. He moves through the sky with ease as if he's being propelled by some sort of force. He doesn't move like a bird as you would imagine. So there's no doubt the Bible says there is a real spirit world and in a sense we're, we're looking at two sides of the coin here. We know they were created good to begin with, but there's also this uh, other side. God even says of Satan that you were perfect in the day in which you were created until iniquity was found in you. So Satan somewhere along the line set his heart on God's throne, uh, lusted after the power that God had and wanted to take it away from God. So they, they were all good, all holy angels. They all, in a sense, were perfect when they were created. Ireland, when he looked out the window and saw what he believed to be a human standing on the clouds at 30,000 feet in the distance. Bewildered, he grabbed his camera and started photographing. As the jetliner got closer to the image, the man could focus and zoom in closer on this unidentified object standing on a cloud. Nick.